All right, guys, if you didn't know about kangaroo leather, we are in it together because I had no idea either. I took a shot, a risk at ordering a kangaroo hide and got a couple orders for it. But man, I have been so impressed by this leather that I am seriously considering make it a new offering for future editions that I plan to just make and sell, make it an offering for maybe some rebind orders because I know whoever picks up this Bible is going to love this leather. Now I'm going to do a, a bit of comparison because uh, it's hard to gauge in photos what this looks like, what it feels like. So here's an Alba calfskin in this particular edition. Uh, it's very grainy on the front, but it's more smooth on the back. Um, but this calfskin is, um, I would say it's smooth and slippery. Where this kangaroo leather, it, the calfskin is the closest I could compare it to. But if you have an Alba calfskin edition, it feels just like the Alba calfskin, this kangaroo leather does. But the kangaroo leather is not slippery, which I'm finding myself as a preacher that I don't want a slippery Bible. I didn't realize how important that was uh, in my and in, in when I choose what Bible I'm going to use. I don't want something slippery. And this kangaroo leather, if I was to describe it, it's like a calfskin leather, but it's not slippery. This leather is said to be 10 times stronger than goatskin, yet it feels soft like calfskin. If this didn't have the um, stamping on the inside kangaroo leather, I would think this is a calfskin Bible. But it has a different feel, a different feel uh, to the leather. It's soft and it's it's slightly grippy. And, it, and it, it just feels really good in the hands. Man, let's look at a few details of the raised hubs. Got the stamping there. And you could see the same of this ABBA edition how I have, uh, it has a tight corner, and then it has a single tooled line. So I did the same, but I gave this Bible a little more yap, which is what I like. These are usually regular yap. Sometimes you get them with semi yap. So I went the, with the semi yap style all but cover. And you could see my, uh, there's my corner work there. And I did have um, some vinyl black end sheets hanging out so I could give this a very stock look. And also we have, just like these ABBA editions, black and gold headbands. So man, if you looked at this and if you saw a photo, you would think I had two ABBA calfskin editions. So man, I have a uh, post, a couple down below this showing pictures of this with a price and details. Whoever picks this up is gonna love it, man. And we also have, have a special sale. I did not plan to sell this Bible, but I am finding myself grabbing my pit minion in the New Living Translation more. Um, so I thought somebody, because these are out of print by Alan, that someone would love to have this. So this is black uh, Sokoto goatskin. And this ghost, goat skin, goat skin, excuse me, this goatskin, is the closest we could get to R.L. Allen Highland. But Seagull Leather tells me that this leather is night and day better than what R.L. Allen uses. I don't know why. I'm not the pro on leather processing. Uh, but that is just what he says. So this has the same exact features of an NLT1 Reader's. So we have two different editions R.L. Allen made. They made a Reader's and an NLT1. The NLT1 does not have the center column references. The R.O. Allen NLT Readers, which is was made maybe in 2009, um, they had this exact text block. And so this is the NLT large print center column reference. And this Bible also has uh, 2015 text of the NLT and a few features that are different. It doesn't have a single gilt line, and I didn't do any interior embossing. I really made this Bible for myself. Um, it does have three navy Beresford ribbons, the same as R.O. Allen, white head and tail bands. And then we have beautiful red under gold. So here is a special, a Friday special, here from Frost Leather. 
a Frost NLT readers done in a R.L. Allen replica with a little bit more simplicity. Now this Bible has a few very clean highlights. Um, I believe Matthew 6, I did highlight a little bit. So it does have, I used always the skinny end of the, of the uh, highlighter, the zebra highlighter. So it, I would say it has maybe five highlights in it, done very clean. So this Bible, I'm going to be selling at a discount. This Bible is about to be sold. This Bible is awesome. I'm going to begin looking into different colors of the kangaroo. So there's two Bibles we have for sale, a special today uh, here at Frost Leather. So send us a message and let's get these Bibles shipped out to you today. In Jesus' name, amen.